Good morning, Hope. Today's psalm is Psalm 27, another psalm by David, and another psalm about David seeking deliverance and vindication uh, from Yahweh. Uh, psalm 27 begins, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise against me, yet I will be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Um, so David here, you know, he's starting out this psalm, he's talking about how uh, Yahweh is his light, his salvation, he's his stronghold, he's trusted, that's the truth that uh, David puts his trust in. Um, but one thing I want us to, to highlight here in verse 4 is uh, that when David says the thing that he asks for, the one thing that he asks for, um, and the one thing that he desires to seek after um, is that he dwells in the presence of Yahweh all the days of his life. That ultimately for David, he wants to be found in the presence of God always. Um, and, and I wonder for us, when we, when we say that we want to go to heaven, do we want to go to heaven because we, are, we want to be in the presence of God and we know that God is there and that's why we want to be there because God is there? Or do we simply want to be there because it's not hell? Uh, and I think we have to understand that heaven is uh, heaven, or even the new earth, or when God returns, uh, that eternity, the, the blessing in eternity, uh, is not eternity itself. It's the presence of God, who is life itself. Uh, and, and so, um, what we should be looking for when it comes to um, Eternity is God is going to be there. That's what we rejoice in. That's what we yearn for. Um, and so David, likewise, that's what he yearns for. A faithful follower of Christ, faithful follower of God of Yahweh, desires the presence of Yahweh uh, forever. Continuing on, for he, that's God, will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. So David there is saying, look, you have said, uh, Yahweh, for me to seek you. And my heart, as you know, like he talked about in the previous psalm, you know, to, to be examined, to be tested by God. Uh, my heart, as you know, does desire uh, to see your face, to be in your presence. Hide not your face from me, turn not your servant away in anger. O you who have been my help, cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation, of my deliverance. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. So, David here um, even though he feels forsaken by his father and mother, and to what degree, we don't know. Maybe it's simply just the fact that they have passed on from this life. Um, maybe they're dead. Maybe that's what he's referencing. We don't know. Uh, but he knows that Yahweh is there for him. Yahweh will always be there uh, for him if, if David continues to seek after him. And because of that, David isn't just blowing God off, as some Christians tend to do. David is... is taking it um, where it needs to go by saying, teach me your way, Yahweh. Teach me how to live. Uh, give me this level path. Um, help me walk this narrow road um, because you have taken me in. Continuing on, verse 12, give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. I believe that I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then he ends it with verse 14. Wait for the Lord. This is kind of like a command and admonition for everyone who hears the song, who sings the song, who reads the song. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. And let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Um, Psalm 27 verse 14 might be a verse worth uh, memorizing um, in times of difficulty, times of loneliness, abandonment. 
Um, we need to remind ourselves to be patient, to wait for the Lord, to be strong, um, and to take courage. Um, and notice all that, all these uh, petitions that David puts out, all revolve around the presence of God, being in his presence, being in his temple. Um, this is why the church exists. Uh, one of the many reasons why the church exists and why we're called uh, to gather uh, is for this reason. If you don't find joy in gathering with the church now, why do you think you will find joy in the afterlife um, when you're, it's all you're with is with the church? Um, we should be, we should have hearts uh, now as new creations who desire to be with the church, who enjoy being with the church. And I'm not saying it's not going to come without its pain, its, its um, issues. It, 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 unfortunately, it will. Uh, but we're called to endure those. We're called to forbear with one another um, in those, uh, to give grace to one another. But God's presence um, is manifested in his church, in his gathered assembly of his uh, people, not just on Sundays, uh, but um, definitely on Sundays, but also beyond uh, Sundays as well. So when we want, to, when we wait for the Lord, when we desire to be strong, we desire the presence of God, let's look to one another, let's look to the church for that. Let's go to his word to know the way of Yahweh uh, so that we can be led on that level path uh, and that God will um, be the God of our salvation and he will be um, our light that we can trust all things into. So that's uh, Psalm 27. Tomorrow we will have uh, Psalm 28 to finish out the week. Uh, have a blessed day.